Pinterest. And I was looking at the beautiful artwork and things of that nature. And I was thinking, this is so beautiful. It is. The artwork is so beautiful right here. Look at it. It's, um, and I thought, wow, how could they create such beauty? And then I read the comment section. AI designed it. This is artwork by AI. Hello, Apple Brooks. AI artwork. And then um, I wonder if what this is, is this also AI artwork? Really, is it? I know this is not. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, you see these lines on here? You all look. Look at the lines. Uh, it's the green and um, yellow or green and pink. It's like the same color of lines that show up on the webcam. Remember, it's, it's the same like colors that show up on the webcams uh, from last night. Look at this. So I'm supposed to be focusing on AI artwork, but zooming up on this, you are, if you remember the, the live webcam uh, from last night, there looked like there was like all kinds of frequencies in it um, showing up frequency in the air, but then is it frequency or is it, see how I'm doing this? Is it um, something else that we're looking at in the sky? Is like the matrix or something falling apart? Because um, I'm getting this artwork on here. I'm, I'm supposed to be focusing on artwork as thinking how beautiful it was. Then I saw the lines on it. I did look at this. Uh, somebody created this stuff right here. Um, but it is. It's beautiful. This artwork is beautiful, you all. I'm sorry. I got myself distracted. And I don't mean to get myself distracted. I'm over here on the Pinterest, and I'm thinking, how how could they create? Now, this is, um, I think this is an actual building, an actual beautiful um, thing right here. It is. Is it? Uh, how did they find how did they do stuff like this? Really think about how beautiful it is. How beautiful this stuff is right here. And um, I've only been in a castle maybe twice in my lifetime, I think. think. The first one I went into was in Berlin, Germany. Mm, was that where I was at? Somewhere in Germany. Yeah, I went to a castle. And uh, it was a small castle. But it had um, beautiful art in it. But then how, you know, if you see, watch, see these lines. See how the lines are moving on us, you all? Look at them. Gina, why are you taking, see how it's moving? The lines are going that way. And um, as I span the camera, they go in another way. You all, what if the sky is a big green screen? Really, because um, I just now saw this. After looking at last night's video, Gina, why do you got to tie everything into things? Because it, it's like, um, as the camera moved on the live webcam last night, really, as it moved, it created something in the sky. It did. Um, where am I at? Let me see if I can get over to my channel. As it moved in the sky... It created this. It created all kinds of these. They were moving all over the place. But I'm over here on Pinterest, and this I love. I love artwork. But I notice as I'm moving this uh, with this camera onto the screen, um, you can kind of see some kind of similarities with what we saw last night. You really can see it. It moves them all over the place. It really does. It moves it all over the place. So I just wonder, you all, I really do not want this world to be a simulation. I do not. But then, listen, remember this? In my father's house, there are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go, um, I will come back and I will get you. So in my father's house, see the lines? Look, 
See if I can get on it. I know I shouldn't be doing this, but if you know you shouldn't be doing it, Gina, then why are you doing it, you all? Because it reminds me of the lines that were coming down from the webcam last night. I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to replicate it. I am trying to do a scientific experiment, and I wasn't expecting to do it, but as I change this, I'm noticing these lines, even though you can barely see them, they're changing too. Um, I'm sorry, you all. I am. I just like, um, I get myself carried away looking at this stuff. This I love art. I love art. I really, I could spend all day long in a museum. I could, as long as it was um, beautiful, really, as long as it's beautiful. This is Rome. How to get in Rome's most beautiful off-limit attractions. If they're off-limit, why? See how beautiful it is, you all. Um, so, um, I love, love it, but, um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to replicate it now, but really, these are beautiful. You all, we don't want to live, well, that's not nice to say, I don't want to live in a world that's make-believe, but, you know, some people live in their own little world, but look how beautiful this is. Okay, there's the lines again. Let's see if we can replicate them. See them kind of try to come down. See them? Just like at the observatories. Do you see it? Not at the observatory. At the FAA camera last night. They were coming down like this. Uh, and it kept changing. Um, I'm doing this on purpose right here now. But it kept changing as the camera was spanning. It really did. It, it, it just kept going and going and going. What on earth is this? Uh, it's a live thing. Let's see if we can replicate this like this. No, but AI does does make beautiful, beautiful artwork. You all, it does. And um, see, let's see if we can get it. I'm doing a scientific experiment now. I'm trying to replicate the FAA cameras to see if when we was looking in the sky, if it was like um, uh, the same effect as this right here, other than the beautiful artwork. Okay, there's beautiful artwork in the world. There is, you all. We know we are. We are um, looking at this Renaissance. Look, this is in Munich. Renaissance Antiqu Antiquarium of the Royal uh, Residence in Munich. In Munich. Uh, hello there. In Louisiana. Hello, everyone. Um, he showed an angel that turned into stone in Russia. Hmm. Yeah, but look at this, you all. Aside from seeing that stuff on here, Gina, it's because you're holding the phone with your hand and you're pointing it at the screen. Well, well, I can't help but notice the a pattern, you all, but look at that. Wouldn't you like to go to a museum? I was I was greatly disappointed when um shortly after the you know what's occurred, they have this few the free museum more or less, uh, in Indianapolis, and it had beautiful, beautiful um, paintings and, you know, all this kind of stuff in it, and I loved it. I loved it. The main attraction that I wanted to see, you know, where they sent it to China, to China, and they weren't going to get it back for two or three years or even four years. It went to China. The old uh, antique stuff went to China, their whole entire collection, and I was left looking at, um, let's see what they got going on. I was left, th this is uh, in Paris. That, uh, you all, I need to mute that. I was left looking at some not too pleasing artwork at that place. Y'all, let's look at this. This is in Paris. Wh can we play it again? Okay, we can play it again. Doesn't it make you wonder how, how they, um, how can they, where do they get all that gold, really, and the artwork? I was going to look at the squid and the octopus, although there's ancient coins that have the squid and the octopus on them, they are. Um, but then I thought, how did this, all this gold come from? It's like a, a, a limitless supply of gold with this artwork right here, you all, inside this building. As it moves, look at that. 
And who who gets it? It's to feast your eyes upon. It really is. Um, it is beautiful. Art, art is beautiful, you all. It's so beautiful. Look at all these statues. How how long do you think it could took to create it, or is this all a simulation? <laughs> is it all a simulation? Do we live in a simulation? And that's why this is so easy because AI created all of this. Really, you I don't. Um, um, it's got good taste. If if AI created all of this, whatever the origin of AI is, it's a very um, aesthetically pleasing. Um, but there's more than aesthetics. Um, we can uh, we can appreciate art. We really sh truly can appreciate the artwork around us, the world around us, the beauty around us, um, for what it is, and it's really beautiful. Um, hello, yeah. So um, that's what I was um, thinking. I was looking at some of these paintings and stuff, and someone said AI. AI did it. It was a beautiful um, artwork. Look inside this building right here. Look at this. This is a real actual building, I think, um, by Carol right here on the Pinterest. Look at this. It's so pretty. It really is. It looked like a big, tall door, and it didn't get demolished. It did not get demolished. How come things? some things were left to, were allowed to stay up? If there was a mud flood, and then how come some other things were not allowed to stay up? Do you ever wonder that? How come some stay up and some don't? Because that's really kind of what happened. Some stayed up. See, that that's kind of looks like uh, Mulano Dumo, Duomo. Look at that castle. Um, the cathedral. Uh, Milan Cathedral in Italy. A cathedral in Italy. Look at that. That is massive. It's like a castle. It really is like a castle, you all. A castle. It's enormous. Um... I don't think they'd want their cathedral destroyed. Do you think they'd want their cathedral destroy, destroyed by war? Was it ever destroyed? I wonder if these things like this were ever destroyed. Look on this right here. I don't know what this is, the inside of. Uh-oh. Beg your pardon. I was getting ready to say, I don't know what this is the inside of, but um, as I zoomed up, I think I know what the inside of that is. Look at the top of this, you all. Look at the top of this building. That is like a fortress uh, with all those things poking up. You'd almost certainly, um, f if you fell down, if you're a giant and you fell down on it. What is this? Where's this at, you all? Um, I don't know what's going on right there, but where is that? You would get poked if you stood on it. It's a bird. Um, I don't know where that is without clicking into it. I don't. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm not sure. Wait a minute. It looks like something from the webcam taxi. Maybe it's um, a church building, maybe. Um, really? Maybe. Old church building. Um, but this right here on the inside. I think I know what it is. Let's click it. Gina. Oh, this is um a, a, this is a gothic masterpiece. The Amiens Cathedral, you all. Amiens Cathedral, a gothic masterpiece. Okay, let's see it. It's a gothic masterpiece. Let's see if we can push the button. I want to see it a little bit. 
gothic, a gothic masterpiece. What's in there? I don't know what's setting up there on the top, you all. Do you know what's setting up there? Because I have no idea. The Amiens Cathedral. I couldn't even tell you where it was located. I really couldn't because um, I just couldn't. Um, I wonder about the energy that is in places like this, really. What does the energy feel like? Why such a tall vaulted ceilings really you had to be humongous how would you even clean it how would you clean this building up here i'm, I'm sure it's got thor, floors and stuff i want to say thor t-h-o-r but i but i didn't i didn't want to say thor um i don't know which ones of these are real and which aren't i have no idea i don't know but um, some of these look kind of familiar to me. Um, they do. Look at that thing right there. That's beautiful. Beautiful architecture. I, I do appreciate beautiful artwork. Where is that at, you all? Is that the Pope's place where the Pope's at? I don't know where it's at. You may say, Gina, you, you already said where it was. I can't remember. That looked like a three-leaf clover. Looked like a shamrock or something. Um, what is that? Oh, it's in France? Oh, okay, thank you. We got some historians in here. We really do. When I look at this, it reminds me of Beauty and the Beast. You know how... Beauty and the Beast, she goes to the castle and the boy, because he was so unkind, he got turned into a beast until his 17th birthday. If he could not fall in love, if he could not experience love, he would remain in his beastly condition forever. And then along came Belle. And um, she loved him, even though he was, this looks like it's underground. What is that right there? It does look underground, you all. Do you think it's underground? No. I don't want to save it, but look at that. Could we do things like this today? Do we have the workmanship? Do we have the skilled people who could do something like this today? Um, ancient technology. Thank you, Frank Cooper, honey. Wow. I'm just looking at the detail, and I'm thinking, how on earth, flow of air, could you do such a masterpiece, really? It is, um, well, I don't know where this is either. Look, it's, there's look like there's some people inside there or something. Whoever created these things, they were a technologically advanced race of beings, and they never left the earth. Look at the floor. Is this real? Is this place real? Look at the floor. Um, I don't know if the floor is a great big see-through thing or what. I don't know. It could even be fake, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was real. I really wouldn't be. Um, I wouldn't be at all surprised. What is that dragon doing up there? Oh, it's the Anunnaki. Why do they got a dragon on this building right here? Really, why do they? What is this? You got, it's a Harry Potter building. Um, in Orlando, they put a dragon in Orlando with the Harry Potter. Okay, well, that's not new architecture. It's not. So we don't want to look at that. I, I did watch that movie, though. And I kind of liked it until it just kept repeating. And I thought, no, it's just too much for me. It's, um, look at that. 
Looks like this is wood. Um, it's like a wood, you all. I saw a real old coin, an ancient coin that had what looked like the Statue of Liberty's head on it. I did. And I, I don't remember which... Who's he standing guard over? Look how towering this thing is. Oh my gosh. That is so towering. It really is. Look how beautifully um, pastel y this is. It's, oh, it looks like they got some books. It does look like they got some books in there, maybe. Um, and I don't know what this is. Does anybody know what this is? Do you think that's real right there? Because it looks like it would be underground. It really does. It looks like something that would be underground right here. Whatever it is and wherever it's at. The dome structures, etc. Look like a great big piece of... Oh, this is a sarcophilus. A, sarco a sarcophilus. There must be someone in it. Um... Because it looks like um, something like that. It does, you all. It's like, where? It's, it's all over the place. It really is. It's all over the place. Look at that. You can carve anything into stone. It's like, oh my. It looks like a saint. A saint, a king, I don't know. Under the city, we got to see where that's at, you all. This is the view of the interior of a cathedral by this person right here, a cathedral. Um, inside a cathedral. It's a tomb. Where is this cathedral located? It is likely to be in Portugal. They were reigning, they were the reigning nation in Portugal. Do you think the nations take turns reigning on earth? They were the reigning nation in the 15th, 16th, 17th century, and enormous wealth came in from countries in the Far East, etc., with the spice, spices and everything. And they say this looks like super... Cool dark soul dungeon, a super cool dark soul dungeon. This is Portugal. Um, wow, that is Portugal. Oh, it really does look like that person said a super dark dungeon for dark, dark dark beings. Look at the great big tall. What is in here? What are they doing, you all? This literally, is, I don't know if I'd like this because could you imagine the energy inside here? Wow. I wonder if this is a painting or wonder if it's real. Well, it looks real right here. It really does. I had a choice. I could sit down in the chair and get lazy, or I could come up here and do a video. I decided to come up here and do a video. I don't want to sit down. I don't. This looks like a painting. A painting of a place. If they painted it, it's bound to exist. It really is. But where? Where? The Emerald Tablets of Atlantis. There's something to that. There really is with Thoth or Tho and, um, wow. Okay, y'all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this again. So if we can make that, if we can create, see it right there, the, the blue and the greens. These was happening on the uh, webcam last night on the FAA live webcams. Uh, and I was thinking, is the sky, like, see, they go different angles. Look at them, red and green. As the camera turned on the FAA last night, um, there was red and there was green. Sometimes it was thick. Uh, and it makes me think, is the sky a green screen? Oh, I don't like thinking like that. I don't want to think in that 
way at all. What on earth? Art in infinitum. Um, I don't know what this person is saying in Spanish. El Encanto de Monster. Monster something in Spanish. I don't know what they said. One something. Magnificent something, you all. I don't know. It's 1838. Whatever they said in Spanish right here for this thing. Um, what did they say? Because it's really, it's I, I really do love art. I love it. Um, but I don't know what he said. See, the word monster and um, won something, and something was magnificent. Um, magnificent. And if it is ancient tech, well, there's ancient technology on this earth, you all. And we better not get in the way for the ancient technology. Oh, they, they're holding back the comment. They're holding the comments down here, you all. It's because Gina shares things that um, she shouldn't share. You shall not question. Million dollar staircase. Um, a million dollar staircase. This is like wild. Um, where's this? I don't know where this is at. It doesn't say where it's at. He doesn't say it all. They hold yours back too, Danny. Love it, honey. Yes, they do. We know they do. Well, it's because um, I, I don't meet the four R's. The four R's of the policies. There's four R's. But this is artwork. Um, whether AI made it or whether ancient people from long ago made it, whether technology made it, it's artwork, and we're appreciating the beauty of artwork regardless. This is the Vatican? Are you serious? Wow, it looks kind of dark in there. It really does look dark. It's like... I don't know if I'd even want to spend the night in a place like that. I, I would be terrified to go to sleep. It stands the test of time. It truly does. I would be scared to go to sleep. Mm, what's this? This is an altar. Um, and it is a little square building in Vienna. Vienna. Um, a building in Vienna. Look how beautiful you are. It is beautiful. Would you want to live in that world? No. Who's to say you didn't live in a world like this if you believe in reincarnation and you're a very old, 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 old so and your memory's been wiped clean? They're just dragging you through the, the reincarnation soul harvesting process. <laughs> That's a theory. That is a theory. I know it. There's so much to look at. Look, it's got wing beings. Now, there are wing beings, you all. Um, I've seen them with my own eyes. They were as big as hang gliders. I thought they were hang gliders with costumes on uh, back in 2018, around June of 2018. They came out of the chasm in the sky. It's like big storm clouds formed, great big, look like gigantic cliffs, monstrous storm cloud cliffs in the sky. And... Uh, a chasm appeared between the two cliffs, and out came this gigantic uh, wing being in a black suit with big black uh, wings. They were 20 to 30 feet in the span of them, and they had reddish-orange on the bottom of their feathers, reddish-orange around their waist. They had human bodies and reddish-orange where their ankles were with their shoes Around five or six, maybe seven came out. One came out at first, flew right over my head, and I couldn't, my camera wouldn't even work. But I've seen them, and I know they exist. Whether they're from another realm or not, they exist, and they flew right over my head. One after another in a single line. So there are winged beings out there, you all. There really are. 
gigantic wing beings. Oh, this is beautiful. Munich. Munich. Look how beautiful it is. It is beautiful. Just like that. Um, 1733 through 46 in Munich. Say so beautiful. Um, it really is. What is that? This is on the outside. The black sails. Why why did they use the word black sails um, for the titles? Because, you know, it's like the Black Fleet in The Lord of the Rings. The Black Fleet was coming. It was coming. And they were going to defeat the return of the king. But little did they know the orgs. When they saw the Black Fleet, they thought they were had reinforcements, but then out came the Aragon, and he brought the army that no man could defeat, and they slaughtered the orcs, the Black Fleet. So I don't know why they called it the Black Sails, but it's really beautiful. Germany, this is Germany, you all, look at that. I don't even know if I even went to that place. I did see the head of Cleopatra. Or was it Cleopatra? A King Tut. When I was in Berlin, Germany, we went to this one museum, and I think it was King Tut's mask or something we saw in a back. This is back in the um, late 80s. Because I was, I think it was in Germany um, through 80, 88 or 89 through um, 91, and we went to a museum, and I think it was King Tut's head, his mask, was in one of their museums in Germany. Oh, that's beautiful. It really is. I am going to go, you all. It would be it would be lovely to tour something like this. It really would be, as a, as a group, it would be nice. It would be really pretty. Um, well, we did it online, so that's great, but I'm going to go. I am, and um, with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world, hello from my heart to yours, love you. Have a wonderful rest of your afternoon, you all love you. Thank you.